Good job, lady. There's a girl. You're all right. Morning. Looking to sell your wares or buy some of the finest meat to ever grace this town? You're back. Welcome. Now, what's going on in here? People around here come in just for those. I only stock the best in my shop. Buy from me, and you'll never be disappointed. That is a local favorite. Now, what is your preferred color for this? Come now, don't doubt yourself. That looks excellent on you. You can really feel the quality of that one, right? I have plenty more great items. Goodbye. Okay.
mister. Hi, y'all. Hello, sir. See y'all okay? Think we double. Oh, I know. Nice to see you again, sir. Take a look at what we got. Old Getty's a pronghorn has been having some trouble. Rustlers or Laramie, I ain't sure. Take a gander at this old thing here. You won't find a better shop in these parts. Mister. Oh, hello. Excuse me, sir. Can I, can I help you? Yeah. I'm looking for Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thank you. Yeah. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit. So I can buy some property? What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> oh, that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But 
I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I worked for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork. Stranger, you will be. You here for me or more trouble? Pleasure to see you again, sir. Now then, let's have a look here. People around here come in just for those. The finest fabrics for a comfortable and flattering fit. What color speaks to you? A pair of those will never let you down, I promise. There are a few colors you can go with for this one.
That's beautiful. That is a local favorite. People around here come in just for those. Now, what is your preferred color for this? So, what do you think? Wearing it out? People say us tailors all sound the same, but I find that rather offensive. That is a local favorite. Yeah, yes, wear it well. I get all sorts walking into this establishment, but they all end up looking better when they walk out. There are a few colors you can go with for this one. I stand behind everything I sell in this place, so you can purchase with confidence. You'll be getting a little more attention from the fairer sex wearing that. You look as long as you like. Hello, sir. All oh, that nothing won't do it. No sense overworking yourself. Hey, 
partner. Hello. Hey, hey partner. I should help thee. Help a blind man. A dollar for your future. A dollar for your fate. Here. Strangers seek thee, one from this world, perhaps one from another. One brings hatred. I'm not sure what the other brings. Uh, right. Okay, friend. All the best now.
Good girl. For you, miss. Settle. Okay, Missy. There you go. <laughs> You're a good girl now. That's a girl. friend. I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid... I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. <laughs> Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy dang city boy says he owns this land. Or he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Look. Take some money. Go try and find somewhere else to stay. You for real, friend? Sure, take it. <laughs> You're a real gentleman. Okay, boys, let's go celebrate. <laughs> Thanks, mister. Ah, it's you, the man with two names and no past. Come on in. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week, eventually, 
you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations, you are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm joking. They own me. They just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> just joking. Well, it is you. Well, I never. I, I thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> Not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come, too. <laughs> no, you don't have to. No, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a slow and painful death, my brother. Evidently. Oh, have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> I'm ready, Marston. Come on. Follow me. Speaking in monosyllables don't make you seem interesting. It makes you seem stupid. I don't care how I seem. Well, now where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? This ranch, I... A ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Oh, I want a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but... I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. She's, uh... Her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but, you know, this makes me think maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place, and you're lucky I'm showing it to you and not looking for a place to bury you out here. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we going to farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the tiller. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No. You're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so... You think I'm an idiot? No. I know you're an idiot. 
Howdy. Can I help you with your horse? I got space for you if you need stabling. We got lots of horses. bath for me i got someone warming it up for you already just head down the corridor there Assistance in there. 
Uh, no, I'm all right. All right, I'll leave you to it then. I've been in Valentine so long, I just don't see myself anywhere else. Thanks, partner. Come on! New patron. Welcome. Well, it's really the catalog you want to look at. It's got everything in here. Good choice. Spit him like hail. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm glad that's fixed. told you to leave it, Bubba. And I thought to myself, who this little girl thinks she's telling anything to? Uh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time, leave me alone. Or what? Ah! What is that? Get the hell out of here before she kills us all. You, you. Get out of here. On Marston. It is good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You, you killed a feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She? She's fine. <laughs> She was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy some property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff, good and bad. Hey, you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. Huh? Sort of. <laughs> oh, it's legal, I'm usually. Then... Maybe. Come on, then. What? Where are we headed? Strawberry. Got on the run from New York. Good price for him. What'd he do? Rob a bank. With a gun? Nope. With a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Sounds easy. Come on. We got a bit of a ride. I know. Your telegram. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounded like him uh, about a year back. Okay. We always said if we found him, 
I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Yeah, we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I got Uncle with me. We'll be okay. Uncle? Well, getting a scout by that gang out there might be preferable than living with him. Sometimes I think the same. you can find. Like I said, feller's name is Nathan Kirk. Banker. Bald. 45. Okay. You hit up that way. I'll meet you in a bit. Say, I mean to meet my friend in town, but I don't know where he's staying. Bald New Yorker, Nathan Kirk. You know where he is? Afraid I don't know. Excuse me, friend. I'm looking for a Nathan Kirk, fellow from New York. Got any mail for him? Kirk? Kirk? No, not so as I would remember. Curly, I think. Well, she's a woman. <laughs> Ask in the Welcome Center. Most tourists check in there. Okay, thank you. What now? You head in there and try to flush him out. I'll go get the horses and then wait here. And grab him if he tries running. Easy enough. You, uh, you seen a fella? A fella from New York? Bald guy? Yeah. A few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. This one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Uh, sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk? But he's so charming. Is he staying here? He's, uh, up in room three. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. How exciting. This is quite an occurrence. Room three's just up there.
Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? It's just a friend. Just a friend! <gasps> Stop! Hey! That's Nathan Kirk! Oh! Got him? Oh, shut up! Come on, jump on! Oh. We gotta get after him! Remember, we want him alive, though! I know! Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? It's just a friend. Stop! Hey! That's Nathan Kirk! Oh! Got him? Oh, shut up! Come on, jump on! We gotta get after him! Remember, we want him alive, though! I know! Thanks for that, Mr. Kirk. Real fun. I'm an innocent man, but it's all a mistake. My wife, my wife is a, is a desperate woman. How, how you married, sir? None of your business what I am. Hey, <laughs> quiet now. Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Send it on my behalf to West Elizabeth Cooperative Bank in Blackwater. Pay down my loans. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. No, I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested.
I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so I'll come find you. You're a good Billy.
those years chasing her well she didn't want nothing to do with me all right you don't strike me as a happy fella then she finally says yes <laughs> what a mistake that was Should have never rushed to get that ring on your finger, Lily May. Never known a more evil woman. It's woman problems, right? Might be better you spoke to the lady. Well, I, I don't generally have much to say. Listen, partner. I'm hardly one to give marriage advice, but it's better if you stick to it. <sighs> Can't make things worse, I suppose. See you, mister. I've got you now. Oh, no! Stop squirming. <laughs> Ain't worth nothing. You're coming with me. Thank mm -hmm. you. 